for those who are fortunate enough to have any association with a Khan family, we have a special cause and condition, special circumstance or tendril or dependent arising with this particular family. And maybe I should just give you a brief example of how some of my uh, tutors appreciate and um, cherish and honor this connection. When I was around nine, I was studying in Sikkim. By then I have received already some teachings from Jabji Tingu Chensi Rinpoche and he saw in the 16th Karmapa and many uh, prominent Buddhist masters. So I'm quite used to mingling with very high lamas. One day as I was reading, reading doing the reading exercise, and this is something that the younger, younger lamas are supposed to do. Suddenly, one of the close attendant and also the tutor, my tutor, Lama Chokden, rushed into my room and then he said, stand up, come quick downstairs. There's a very important person you have to meet. And he already has prepared a very long scarf, a kadar. I'm very used to uh, this unexpected High Lama's visit during those days. So I went into Kandu Tsering children's room, which has uh, the stupa, the tomb of Chenzi Chokiloto, and there's a small bed where Kandu Tsering children used to stay. Normally, she stays there. She sits and do prayers on this bed. But this time, I saw a very stunning, handsome man. And I have a, quite a vivid memory of, the, memory of this. And he's wearing a big down jacket and a stunningly blue jeans. And I can still remember a very, you know, humongous, you know, since I, I was a kid, I guess everything was big at that time. <laughs> I saw this big uh, boot, like with lots of buttons, and I got really come, like shocked with the size and the shape of the boot. And this man has this big boot on in the shrine room which is usually not really allowed. But on top of that, my tutor, in his scolding voice, said, prostrate, chaatse, chaatse, meaning you have to prostrate. So I thought, I, I thought I'm supposed to prostrate to the kudung, which is the tomb of the Chensi Chokulode, because I have never been told to prostrate to a young man wearing jeans, down jacket with the big boots on. So I prostrate one to Kudung. But then he grabbed my neck and he said, no, not there, here to this. And then I realized I was, I was supposed to prostrate to this young man. And I, because all the lamas I have till then, I have prostrated to was the great they all look kind of uh, monkish <laughs> and kind of and there's a all a spiritual prop if you like so then I reluctantly did the two other prostration towards this man and later I found out this is none other than uh, Manju Rinpoche, who is the oldest son of the Dachshin Rinpoche here. And noticing my reluctance, later I got almost two hours of lecture 
from my tutor, quoting supposedly my predecessor, Chen Zhi Chokri Lotu, my tutor was saying that your own previous incarnation has said that one member of a Khon family is much better than 100 Tulkus. These are the family descendant from the Manjushiri himself. So there is, among many other reasons, there, this is one of the examples how I feel today that I'm very blessed that I have, I'm creating this connection.